the Rothschild family, which originated as a banking family in the late 18th century, is the most well-known of all European financial dynasties. Since the 19th and 20th century, the family has had a long history of using their money to shape considerable economic and even political outcomes in Europe. For instance, they provided a loan to the French government in the 1870s to cover war indemnities. Hi, welcome to Lux 24-7, a luxury lifestyle channel covering all things luxury. In this special video, we'll be disclosing the history and lavish lifestyle of the richest of the rich, the Rothschild family dynasty. The Rothschild family's history began in poverty. They weren't immersed in fortune and grandeur like they are now. Throughout the Middle Ages, the household resided in Frankfurter Judengasse. The Frankfurter Judengasse, translated to mean Jews Lane in German, was the Jewish ghetto of Frankfurt, Germany. It was known to be one of the earliest ghettos in Germany. It existed from 1462 until 1811 and was home to Germany's largest Jewish community in early modern times. In old Germany, houses were identified by symbols above the door rather than numbers. The ancestral home of the Rothschild family featured a red shield. It read Rothschild in German, using the original spelling. The Rothschild began to rise in prominence when the patriarch, Mayor Amschel Rothschild, was hired by the crown prince Wilhelm of His. And when the young prince assumed power in 1785, he assigned Mayor the position of a court Jew, someone to oversee the kingdom's finances. Nowadays, a title like that would be extremely offensive. Yet, in a Catholic-dominated Europe, it was among the highest honors a Jew could receive. Every aristocrat had a court Jew who was in charge of looking after their finances. If the aim is to gain profit, the Bible prohibited money lending. Even though most nobility were deprived of morals, they had to maintain their God-obeying persona in order to keep their domains and fortune. That also included their reputation. Many Jews including Rothschild family saw this as a potential to amass tremendous wealth. Mayer promptly opened a bank with the money he earned and sent his son Nathan to London. This move assisted Mayer in transferring Wilhelm's riches to London during the Napoleonic Wars. He was even able to provide funding for the British. The other four sons of Mayer established new banks in Paris, Naples, and Vienna following the Napoleonic Wars. The family banking house profited immensely from the Napoleonic Wars. They primarily aided elites during their financial difficulties in times of war or when entire countries were on the edge of bankruptcy. They provided enormous loans to the nations having capital resources in exchange for high interest rates. Mayor Amschel Rothschild and his five sons grew their banking house into a multinational enterprise, and future Rothschild family expanded into a number of other industries. It is now revealed that the Rothschild family were financing and making money from every war fought in Europe during the 19th century, and there was no scarcity. Common sense should dictate funding both parties in war that results in destruction and suffering is unethical, but nobody objected the outcome. There are so many tales about the enormous Rothschild riches it wouldn't be practical to count. According to various sources, the family has around $500 trillion. However, since it is estimated that the world's gross capital equates to one or two quadrillion dollars, it's not only difficult to believe, but also pretty much impossible. It is insane for one family to possess 25 to 50 percent of the world's wealth. The better part of the estimates put the Rothschild fortune between $500 billion and $1 trillion. That amount doubled or quadrupled Elon Musk's wealth. Enjoying what you're watching? Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. 
If you find this video educational and entertaining, share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Now let's get back to the video. The Rothschild Lifestyle Although the Rothschild family's primary source of income came from banking and finance, they ventured into other enterprises very successfully. Over time, they expanded into industries such as the arts, mining, real estate, stocks, winemaking, energy, and transportation. They also gave a large loan to the British government that enabled that country to become a major shareholder in the Suez Canal Company. According to some sources, they own a 30% share of all financial firms globally. The life of the Rothschild kin is obscured from the public view. They are excellent at concealing their private lives and true wealth, which may be larger than the entire Southern Hemisphere put together. Nevertheless, now and then, we get a taste of the lavish life they lead in private. Majority of the family's transactions were made with the sole intention of making them more opulent in the future. They tended to avoid loud extravagant commodities with short-lived potential in favor of long-term gains and influence. They are one of the major donors to art museums across the world, with the contributions coming from their massive art collection. For instance, they sent the $40,000 4th Century Lycurgus Cup to the British Museum, among many other artifacts. Approximately 3,500 items of art were stolen from the Rothschild estates when the Nazis ruled France. Reports say Hitler himself came to choose his favorite pieces. The majority of the artifacts were returned after the war, although others are still missing. The family possibly holds the largest share of gold worldwide. They own equity in mining sites in addition to the precious metal itself. They don't have golden vehicles, guns, or furniture unlike some known rich kids. Instead, they have a monumental amount of gold bars. Jacob Rothschild recently traded huge sums of British pounds and US dollars for gold, which many financial analysts perceive as a problem for Western economies. Currently, gold makes up around 8% of Jacob's assets. The Rothschild family has one of the largest collections of real property in the entire world. They include immense quantities of estates, chateaus, mansions, and villas occupying countries from virtually all hemispheres of the globe. Any royal family would be envious of their possessions. In Buckinghamshire alone, they own over 13 sumptuous dwellings costing about $10 million each. What seems to be their crown treasure is the What is Done estate, which is accessible to the public. More than 450,000 people come to this magnificent residence to get a taste of the lifestyle and class the Rothschild live. The family is thought to own properties worldwide that total 20 to 25 billion dollars. Recently, as of 2018, they sold a plot of land in Austria, the size of Manhattan, New York, for a whopping 112 million dollars. Baron Albert von Rothschild purchased the property in 1875. Of course, not all luxury expenditures qualify as investments. Nathaniel Rothschild, for instance, spent almost $100 million on a mega yacht. The vessel, known as Planet 9, can board 16 passengers and a 26-person crew. The massive ship is propelled by two caterpillar engines at up to 16 knots. Visitors that wish to arrive and depart at their convenience can also use the boat's helicopter deck. Nathan is also the celebrated owner of a luxury private plane that costs more than $60 million. One of the most expensive aircraft available, the Bombardier Global 6000 can carry up to 14 passengers in the lap of luxury. However, Nathan's acquisitions pale in comparison to those of his posh great-grand-uncle, Walter Rothschild. Walter Rothschild is still among the most frugal Rothschild today. 
He spent a lot of money on exotic animals because of his interests in zoology. These include hundreds of birds, a gigantic tortoise, and zebras. Three zebras were actually trained by the extravagant billionaire to drag his coach across London. He assembled the largest specimen collection the world has ever known. In his later years, the American Museum of Natural History in New York purchased his vast bird collection. Following his passing, the remainder of his incredible collection was also given to the museum. Now remember, he was the most frugal one. Since the 18th century, the Rothschild families have inspired countless theories about their wealth. The family was and continues to be linked to several conspiracies, like the New World Order, five-dimensional lizards ruling the planet, and the Illuminati, as they live and operate in secrecy from generation to generation, the Rothschild legacy will always remain a mystery. As with all that said, this concludes our video. So what do you think about the Rothschild family? What is the craziest conspiracy you've heard about them? Do you agree or disagree with the methods for acquiring wealth? Let us hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you didn't already. Check out our other videos if you enjoy content like this. Until next time, this is Lux 24-7, your luxury lifestyle channel.